Cue the music. YouTubers, it's me, Gary Ann. No. We're just standing here extolling the virtues of Sherman Hemsley. He's great. Sherman Hemsley is a secret freak. All right, let's get to it. Look, Raiden. Christopher Lambert action figure. There you go. Um, or is it Lambert? I don't know. Look at this. For all you uh, cutters out there, for all the goths, the emo kids. Your favorite. The saddos. See, yeah. I always like the, the three little kids from the movie, the, the trick-or-treaters. Lock, shock, and barrel. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, 1872. It's a big setup issue. Nixon. Good issue. It was. It, it sets you up first. You can see what Red Red Wolf is going to be all about. I can't wait for Red Wolf. It it's about good. time I had a good Western book. They teased a Punisher priest in there, nice. and a he's got a partner who looks like Deadpool. Nice. Uh, Age of Apocalypse. Final issue of that, I think. Maybe. I think most most of the the Secret War stuff. These it's, are their end yeah. issues. Amazing Spider Man. <clears throat> Sorry, I got Stop. something in my throat. <clears throat> Astonishing Ant-Man. Love that book. I mean, this is the first issue of the new series, but I love the old book, which is going to be... It was a little irreverent. I tried to scan it real quick. I like it. So... Uh, empty spot. Darth Vader. Oh, my God. Enough with the trailer and the ticket sales. Enough. Enough. Yeah. Nick and I will be renouncing our geekhood on a future uh, episode of the video. Just so you know, Don Vampirella. Uh, geek culture is wearing me out, personally. I can't speak for Nick, but it's wearing me out. I get the feeling it's wearing Nick out, too. It's, it's Empty some, spot. Honestly, it's some entitlement issues. Yeah, there's some entitlement issues. Death sentence. We're cranky today. Yeah. We're not really, but we're... Oh, we were laughing before. Uh, Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate is good. Uh, what? Born, Born home. home. What are they covered in? That's just gross. Yeah. I've seen videos like that, and it's gross. I've seen maybe six or eight what, did you Did you see the so, South Park episode about the Yelp reviewers? No, I did not. Oh, we'll go into that later. Okay. Godzilla and Hell. It's one of our more uh, uh, fast-selling uh, Godzilla yeah. books. Gotham Academy. Actually, it's our best-selling Godzilla yeah. book. Uh, Lost Army, Green Lantern. Yeah, it got lost in the cancellation pile. Wah, wah, wah. Grim Tales of Terror. There's no boobs on this. How can this be grim? Yeah, that's not... Oh, well, the boob covers are gone. Oh. Uh, mystery, P.I.? That's not how you spell mystery. Um, you got uh, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, with these really dirty sketch covers. Why are they so crummy looking? It's a different kind of paper they probably used. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it, My Little Pony. Oxymoron. We like that, though. Look that at that. A, that was a good issue, and that's great... Uh, I don't want to mispronounce his name. He's the artist on Scam, Joe Mulvey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Joe Mulvey, yeah. Uh, Paybacks. Scam is a good book. It was a good book. Oh, yeah. Power Cubed, I guess. I don't know. I'm guessing. Power Cubed. We've got to go back to the elementary math. Yeah, right. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Amazing Adventures. Uh, Teen Titans. Superboy surrenders. Oh, don't be like that, Superboy. He's Teen Titans go. Maybe he's surrendering to his feelings for Robin. There you go. Teen Titans go. Dennis's pick of the week. Titans hunt. They're hunting, they're hunting Titans. You don't want to say that quick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Titans hunt. The tithe. We've got that. If you need it, we've got it. If you need it. What do we got up here? Look at this. Epic collection. Moon Knight. Oh my God! That's a Struzinski. She, uh, no, it's uh, Saint Kevich, uh, Denis Cowan, uh, Doug Mensch. Uh, we got the Earth One uh, soft cover yeah. Teen Titans. We've got uh, Volume Two, I believe, of the Bendis Gatos Alias book, which is awesome. We've got Mimetic, which is supposed to be also awesome. I haven't read it. We've got Get Giro by Anthony Bourdain, and we've got a Hawkeye Fraction and Aja hardcover omnibus. 
which I can tell you is awesome. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of Bill's course, pick. Scorpion. Oh, yeah, Scorpion. Bill's pick of the week, Back to the Future. Enough. Yeah. Enough. I'm begging Thank you. Thank God yesterday's over. I'm begging you. It's I'm over. Gonna, I'm going to act like this when Blade Runner comes oh, about. You yeah. watch. You watch. Well, I like the other ones, too. It's not just Blade Runner. What, two years from now is Running Man? Running Man, yeah. Come on, guys. So does that mean I can go around and hunt people? Oh, God, let's hope so. <laughs> Uh, Batman and Robin Eternal, which Nick says is, is probably his favorite Batman book right now. Right now, it's the only one I'm reading. I mean, yeah. I get the other one, I just don't read fell it. behind. Batman Arkham Knight Genesis. The Beauty by Jeremy Hahn. Still and, a great book. Yeah, it's excellent Jeremy Hahn. I had to put Jason it in Earth. a baggie because it's got some hoo-hoos right in the opening sequence. Um, Big Trouble in Little China. <clears throat> I'm at a I'm at a crisis point with Big Trouble in Little China. I love Big Trouble in Little China. Nobody loves Big Trouble in Little right. China more than I do. And I love the idea of a book of Big Trouble in Little China when it first started. Brian Chirilla, Eric Powell, John Carpenter. How do you go wrong? Right. I love it. It's, it's starting to wear out, man. It's starting to wear out on me. Like, it, it, it's going around in circles to me. It's going nowhere. Doctor Who? You so, mean like Walking Dead for the last hundred issues? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's on the bubble is what I'm saying. Doctor Who again? Hey, guess what the next one is? Doctor Who again? Come on. Donald Duck. I understand that that's like the linchpin tentpole of your of your company, but you have to put out three issues on the same day? Well, three they're also books. shipping from England, so who knows when they actually... Doomed? He's doomed. You're doomed! Uh, Wonderland? You're doomed, that... that that phrase comes from a movie called Hysterical with the Hudson Brothers back in the 80s. They were like the light version of uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie. You should definitely check out the movie Hysterical. Hip Hop Family Tree is probably the most awesome thing to come out this week. It's better than the hip hop variants. Yeah. Um, Injustice, Between the Gods. Between the Sheets is what it looks Listen, like. Listen, these guys are always fighting. Why don't they just have sex and get it over with? The easiest way to do it. Uh, the sexual tension, you can cut it with a kryptonite knife. Kryptonite battering. Invader Zim. Invader Zim. As referenced by Childish Gambino in one of his raps for some reason. Rye. Give me that marble, Rye, you <laughs> I, Now I you're it. referencing <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, it's all over the place. Rivers of London. I like that one. It's a Clash album, isn't it? The Rook, a time-traveling, gunslinging monster fighter. By Stephen Grant, Paul Galassi, two legends. It's like they, they called you up and said, hey, Gary, what do you want? Yeah, right. Gary, what would you like us to do for you? Uh, more RRH, Red Riding Hood. I don't remember him from the Red Riding Hood. Hey. Well, whatever. Secret Six. I'm a tree. Uh, Nick's pick of the week. He's got two picks, ladies and gentlemen. You greedy bastard. I am. Tokyo Ghost by Rick Remender and Sean Murphy, which he Phenomenal. loves. Phenomenal. He Phenomenal, was. and, and that, that one right there with, like, the fact that you have to, you can order pizza with emojis, and everyone was complaining that Fandango crashed. It's all about the interconnectivity of the internet, everyone's need for technology. Read that book. That's going to yeah. tell you, uh, maybe you shouldn't be so, yeah, right. you know. So, uh, I can't say don't be antisocial, because... Not be antisocial, but... This. Don't do this for the rest yeah. of your life. Look around you, for Christ's sake. Uh, Trancers. Which Nick loves, Trancers. Uh, first off, Jimmy Palmietti, Justin Gray writing it. Right. Classic 80 movie about a detective from the future named Jack Death sent back in time to get a guy who traveled back in time and he creates zombies. Come on. If you don't know what Trancers are, find it online and watch it. Transformers. The Uncanny in Humans, issue number one. Which reminds me, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is really heating up, kids. I know, Nick, you don't like it, but it's awesome. Voltron? Not that I don't like it, it's just... It's getting really good. Ah, uh, look, Catwoman bombshell statue. That's enough. That's... A lot of these bombshells, just from the picture on there, you're like, eh. You get the statue out, you're like, okay, I get it. Yeah. I think I could probably marry that. Uh, look, it's Swamp Thing. That's like the most boring-looking Swamp Thing figure I've ever seen. I, I swear all they did was take his... Take his wings off. and yeah, his, took his uh, wings off and gave him a different head sculpt and took some of the extras off of him from the old figure. That's kind of a jip, DC Comics. Uh, more emo goodness, Jack Skellington. So you can all take him home and... Because 
even though it's called The Nightmare Before Christmas, it it's is a, a Halloween movie. We've, we've uh, found out that it is indeed a Halloween movie. Godzilla, look at that. Oh, Godzilla. Bizarro. There's Bizarro. Which I believe is canceled. Wah, wah. Black Canary. Which People one? say they want diversity. They do not want diversity. They get mad if Superman takes his underpants off the outside of his suit. Yeah. Blacklist. <clears throat> Comic book fans are a cowardly superstitious lot. Book of Death. Which was really good. Those The one shots, if you're not reading any Valiant, these one shots, you don't have to know anything. But, I mean, they're okay. awesome. Nick really does like uh, Book of Death. I, I do know that. BPRD, Hell on Earth. Giant Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. It, that one, that piece, for the size of it, the scale to fit two of the figures, as well as it lights up, and that's only 100 bucks. That's actually... That's pretty good. Pretty good. And Christmas is coming. Mm-hmm. Invincible. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, issue two already. The only thing so far I've liked flipping through that is I do like the redesign of Madam Mask's mask. Nice. Uh, Ivar, Time Walker. Ivo Shandor, Time Walker. Star Wars, Shattered Empire. Uh, Justice League. The Dark Dark Side. Dark Side. It's, it's is, Dark Side, because with the I at the end, that means that, that is the sure. A lot one. of people say Dark Seed. But it's not. I don't think it's Dark Seed. But no. Whatever. I love the Agents of Atlas. For those of you who don't know who the Agents of Atlas are, you should totally check that out. Even though this issue doesn't look like it's written by uh, Jeff Parker. Oh, that's a shame. Seven uh, <clears> percent. <throat> the other thing I'm very excited about this week is the Shield comic book because it's all Howard Chaykin, bang, and it's got one of my favorite characters, Dominic Fortune. So I'm very excited about that. And then the Shield, first issue from uh, Dark Circle, actually looks pretty good. I gotta go back through and put uh, Black Hood back on everyone's pool because the yeah, second volume back comes out. back out next week. Uh, Simpsons comics. Yes, I do like Black Hood. Uh, weird World, which I like a lot because it's weird. It's weird. And it takes place in a world. It's Chris Starr, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah. It don't hurt when there's Chris Starr in it. Uh, what if Infinity, number one, Guardians of the Galaxy, there should be like nine titles on this book. Could you just stop? Just Yeah. Seriously. Way to ruin a cover yeah. with too many. Yeah. Empty Spot. Yeah, that's a good cover and there's too much words. Too much words. Uh, Alice Cott's Wolf. Wonder Woman. Cat fight. <laughs> We're such chauvinists. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet uh, Keychain, for those of you who really have no dignity left. Uh, BB-8 Pop. We got some super bad pop. Seth. We got Magenta from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. We've got Sting. We've got Diva Plava Laguna. Diva Plava Laguna. I said it twice without screwing it up. Mangalore. Uh, Vault Boy. Vault Boy. His name is Vault Boy. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Fish Mooney. I guess it's better than calling him the Gimp. I guess it's better than calling yourself Fish Mooney. Emma Swan from Once Upon a Time. And Kylo Ren. A lot of theories out there about Kylo Who, Ren. He's not Luke. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of theories. Sub Zero, get over here. And then we've got uh, Worf. Actually, uh, Scorpion's the one who says get over here. Oh, uh, well, somebody get over somewhere. Whatever. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Hey, girl. Clean Room. It's a new one from uh, Gail Simone and Vertigo. This is pretty cognetic. One of three. That's uh, James Tinian. That's same guy, same creative team from Medic. Nice. Danger Girl. Oh, Danger Girl. Dark Horse Presents. Uh, empty Zone. What a monkey on the <sighs> Everyone's got a monkey on their back. Escape from New York. I always find it funny when Escape from New York and Big Trouble come out the same week. I do too. Uh, Eternal, Soulfire, Michael Turner's, he's still putting work out. <clears throat> my, Better than some of the guys that are still alive. Yeah. Uh, my pick of the week is The Fade Out, which is coming to a close, I think, with issue Two 12. Two issues, yeah, yeah. Issue 12. The Fade Out. It's great. Fistful of Blood is one of Nick's favorite books of the week. It's. You look at the cover, it's you don't really divert much from what that is. So. Or you could look at this cover and divert from that. Bang. There you go. How about that, kids? Uh, Karnak, I'm very excited about because it's supposed to be Kung fu goodness. Nick said it was underwhelming. For me, it was. Yeah. I used to like Karnak. And, you know. <laughs> I loved him when he used to... Ooh. <laughs> a 
Lumberjanes. <laughs> we did that joke too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would. Yeah. How are we not going to do that joke? We're obvious. Come on. Uh, Martian Manhunter. Look at that cover. That's something. There's something going on there. Mega Man. Because he's mega. Yeah. Uh, this girl's Midnight Society. What is up with her body? That's weird. Like, is her body weird looking or is it me? Oh, it's because her hips and, yeah, her hips and her waist are blended together. The way she's standing doesn't look right. It's not uh, flattered. Although, I'm not saying she should be, you know, like all the, anyway. Please let that be the thumbnail for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Star Trek, look at that, with the photo cover. Oh, Zoe Saldana, I love you. Steam Man by Joe Lansdale. I love Joe Lansdale. I might have to Steam check that out. Steam Man. Yeah, that's a sound garden song. Sunflower by Maluk and Ewington and Carter. It's from the same guys that did the Bad Moon Rising last week. Oh, okay. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Injustice. They're mad at each other, I think. Carrie Nord cover. Carrie Nord's really good. Well, you know why she's mad? Because he's not as powerful anymore, so you know. Sure. Uh, Tales of Honor. In Honor and Stay Honor. Um, there's more of the... Mortal Kombat. More of the Mortal Kombat figures. All right, so that's it for the new books. Let's go look at this stuff. I promised Nick I was going to do my Sherman Hemsley walk to the oh, counter. You did. Yeah, so uh, we got this gigantic Jack and Sally uh, doll baby set. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've got some Garbage Pail Kids vinyl figures for those of you who are... Still remember the Garbage Pail Kids. And who are gluttons for punishment. Uh, we've got this statue, which doesn't make any sense to me. If I'm going to buy a statue, it's not going to be just of a guy. But he's, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to have to be like, you know, like Dracula or the Joker or hey. something. But whatever. Teach your own. Yeah. Um, don't let me stop you from buying it because we need to get rid of it. Uh, we've got these little baby pops, Freddy Krueger and uh, David Tennant and another Catwoman More statue. More Catwoman. I think that's it. Yeah, the wall's getting bigger over the there. The wall pops. This is the kind of thing that Trump is going to build around. That's, yeah, that's, that's how we're going to keep <laughs> yeah, illegal immigrants out. Right. So uh, this weekend, Cleveland Comic Con, we're not doing that one, are nope. we? We're not doing Cleveland. Bill's going to Indianapolis. Bill is going to Indianapolis. So he'll be in Indianapolis this weekend. We've got Goularty Fest coming up and Akron Comic Con. Uh, so until next and week. And Halloween Comic Fest. Oh, yeah. Halloween Comic Fest is coming up, too. We've got a J5 artist in, in the store doing a little drawing action. So uh, come down and check us out on Halloween. We'll have a nice... Sale, maybe? Yeah. Having maybe a sale. Yes. We're having a sale and an artist on Halloween. I know. So, and free comics. Um, yeah, and free comics. So you should come down and check that out. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, previews comes in next week. So yep. the week after, we'll be talking about what's in the previews. Unless uh, we're highly motivated. Unless now. we're highly motivated. We might look through it and go, nah, yeah. let's do it today. Yeah. So uh, until next time, my friends, stay nerdy. Hasta luego. Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>